Hi, Kyo. Hi, Kyo. What a good girl. Currently, we're looking at um, hibernation and how these animals survive these long periods of having very, very low heart rates and it doesn't affect their heart function during hibernation. And we're trying to understand if there's some piece of that physiology we can learn and then apply to humans That's or right. animals with heart disease. Because humans or animals couldn't, or other types of animals couldn't yeah. do what these bears do in hibernation and live or not develop heart failure. Leg, which way are you going with it? Oh, good leg, that's good. We were testing uh, a certain type of receptor, response of a certain type of heart receptor uh, to this medication, and we're gonna test it again during hibernation. Bring them back in, run Mike and Luna through, get just a blood draw, bring them back in, and then cue. It's an um, echocardiograph, it, it is a heart ultrasound and it will um, help us image the heart and we can do cardiac calculations, um, heart rate, contractility, how much blood the, the heart is pumping, that type of thing. Good girl, good girl. We are constantly finding interesting things, so I couldn't tell you when we would have a definite answer. I think we'll have some interesting results after this year because we're, we'll be winding up the completion of the receptor study and understanding what receptors the bears actually have and how they're different from us. So we'll have some real interesting information then and then how we use it uh, may, may involve some clinical type trials. Another sort of interesting piece of this puzzle is the, the bears have very, very low heart rates, four and five beats per minute and you can see the blood settling in the heart and you can see actual um, what looks like the beginning of clot formation but they don't actually form clots. And that's another interesting piece to understand for humans because we tend to throw a lot of clots with our heart disease. It's a very petite eater. It's uh, slow but ongoing. These animals only do what you need them to do once every year during the winter and so we uh, obviously intensify a lot of research in the winter time. Oh. Gonna yell at her friends.